Hello there. Would you believe it's been a remarkable 52 years since the beloved TV series Sanford and Son first captivated audiences? This timeless show has woven itself into the fabric of our childhoods with its enthralling tales lingering in our memories. If you're eager to delve into the nostalgia and uncover all the untold truth, this video is for you. So, let's embark on this exploration together right now. Red Fox played the character Fred G. Sanford. He was 50 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. October 11, 1991 was a tough one. He left us due to a heart attack at 69 years old in Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Gee, that was here last night. Joe Crawford's with her. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed? What are you talking about? What's wrong with that little company? Here's what turn around and go down the back of your head. <laughs> Nathaniel Taylor played the character Rollo Larson. He was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. February 27, 2019 was a tough one. He left us due to a heart attack at 81 years old in Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. An attack. But we can't. We just can't thank him enough. Yeah, but that's enough of that monkey business. Hey, Rollo, you shut up and let these girls thank me enough. <laughs> if I tell them to... <laughs> Gregory Sierra played the character Julio Fuentes. He was 35 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Sadly, on January 4, 2021, he left us due to stomach and liver cancer at the age of 84 in Laguna Woods, California. His passing deeply saddens us. That's really great. No, not by my friend. Uh, call was... me Mr. Sanford. Oh. Okay, Mr. Sanford. I was thinking, you remind me a little of my father, you know that? From here to Yugoslavia. Si ponemos toda la porquería que tenemos aquí, de una línea directa llega desde aquí hasta Yugoslavia. Imagínate, chico. Sí, aquí está. Wait, wait, did you... Pat Morita played the character Achu in the TV series when he was 40 years old in 1972. November 24, 2005 was a tough one. He left us due to kidney failure at 73 years old in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a sad loss for all of us. Here. Whitman Mayo played the character Grady Wilson. He was 42 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. May 22, 2001 was a tough one. He left us due to a heart attack at 71 years old in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a sad loss for all of us. With that one arm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. I have my mother, mm -hmm. 85 years ago, mm -hmm. in a senior citizen's home. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the first time, she's getting cape. We? Lynn Hamilton played the character Donna Harris. She was 42 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 94-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Yazoo City, Mississippi. Get ready to say something, then you forget about the whole thing, Mrs. Harris. That's fine with me. I quit. Bye. I should have realized. Hi, I'm Lynn Hamilton. I'm in rehearsal for a play called Seven Maids from Stockbridge. It's um, a wonderful play. For Howard Platt played the character Officer Hoppy Hopkins. He was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 86-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Chicago, Illinois. Well, once again, into the breach, dear oh, friends. Really? No, I didn't mean that. Uh, this was, uh, is, did you have a bag or something that you'd like to... Yeah, here, let me do that, that chair. LaWanda Page played the character Aunt Esther Anderson. She was 52 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on September 14th, 2002, she left us after complications from diabetes at 82 in Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. Lamont, our favorite nephew, you think you can just walk in here and take my sister Elizabeth's place? My sister had clay. I hope she's 
whole family's got clothes. Same thing about us, but that's a lie. <laughs> Honey, we come in all colors. Light, bright, almost white. Don Bexley played the character Bubba Bexley in the TV series when he was 62 years old in 1972. Sadly, on April 15, 1997, he left us due to heart and kidney failure at the age of 87 in Hampton, Virginia. His passing deeply saddened us. It gives me great pleasure to present your award and huh? your... It's supposed to be. That's how you know when you got a good badge. What do I do with it, Bubba? Do that side my cheek? That's all. Just lay it up beside the sword side. Raymond Allen played the character Uncle Woodrow Woody Anderson. He was 43 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on August 10th, 2020, he left us after natural causes at 91 in California. We're really feeling the loss. I, I'm sorry, Esther. I, I really am. I just thought I looked which thing would calm my nerves. Hal Williams played the character Officer Smitty Smith in the TV series when he was 34 years old in 1972. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 86-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Columbus, Ohio. Until this cat gets busted, be cool on copper. And if he hits on you, contact your local firm. <laughs> Brother in Roots, that I worked on Harry O with, with um, David Jansen, that I did other dramatic shows, and that five years on the Waltons. Fritzy Burr played the character Woman on Plane. She was 48 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. January 17, 2003 was a tough one. She left us due to natural causes at 79 years old in Fort Myers, Florida. It's a sad loss for all of us. Demon Wilson played the character Lamont Sanford in the TV series when he was 26 years old in 1972. Check it out, at 78 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Valdosta, Georgia. <laughs> Say, Pop, cigarettes will kill you, don't you believe me? I believe it. Killed a friend of mine in Durham, North Carolina. You see that? <laughs> Got killed back to back. Mark said to me, what do you want for it, Demond? And I said, 5K. So they came back and they said, now, 